find the Maclaurin series for g of x equals x squared times cosine x over 2. Now notice that this is a complicated function. It has a product and a composition, and so taking repeated derivatives would be rather difficult. So let's try to use the heredity principle. Let's start off with the Taylor series for a function we know. Say cosine of x, who's related to this, and manipulate its Taylor series. Now cosine of x's Taylor series is 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times x to the fourth minus 1 over 8 factorial, or 6 factorial times x to the sixth, plus 1 over 8 factorial times x to the eighth, and we keep alternating uh, even powers and signs. So the next term would be a 1 over 10 factorial x to the tenth, plus 1 over 12 x to the twelfth, and so on. Now, let's focus on the variable for just a second right here. We can replace this by anything. So let's actually rewrite this Taylor series, but replacing x by just a blank symbol. So the cosine of blank would be 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times blank squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times blank to the fourth minus 1 over 6 factorial times blank to the sixth plus 1 over 8 factorial times blank to the eighth on down the line. And so now what we could do is we could replace whatever is in the blank by anything, say x over 2. If we put an x over 2 in all of these spots, just essentially replacing x by x over 2, we would have a series for x over 2, cosine x over 2. Let's clean it up. We're going to have 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times 2 squared x squared plus 1 over 4 factorial, and then there's a 2 to the 4 down here, times x to the 4th, minus 1 over 6 factorial times 2 to the 6th x to the 6th plus 1 over 8 factorial times 2 to the 8th x to the 8th minus the rest of the pattern. Again, remember, you're not trying to simplify this. You're trying to write a pattern that somebody else can follow, which is why I'm keeping all of these powers the way they are. Well, now that we have a Taylor series for the cosine of x over 2, we could take this entire expression and simply multiply both sides by x squared. And we would have a formula for x squared cosine of x over 2. So on the right-hand side here, we're going to distribute this x squared to all these pieces like a giant polynomial would have an x squared, 1x squared at the front, minus 1 over 2 factorial times 2 squared times x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth, plus 1 over 4 factorial times 2 to the fourth, x to the fourth times x squared, or x to the sixth, minus 1 over 6 factorial times 2 to the sixth times x to the eighth, plus 1 over 8 factorial times 2 to the eighth times x to the ten, and so on down the line right here. And so this is our Taylor series for cosine that is x squared times cosine x over 2. And since this pattern is easily repeatable, this is going to be our answer.